Deferrals and accruals are what constitute the majority of your adjustments in an accounting record. But what really is deferral and what is accrual? Ito ang pag-uusapan natin sa episode na ito. Last episode, iniwanan ko kayo ng isang slide para i-introduce yung limang klase ng adjustments. Um, kagaya ng i-prenodject ko ulit sa ngayon, pinakita ko sa inyo yung prepaid expenses, accrued expenses, accrued revenues, and unearned revenues. Kasama yung panglimang klase ng adjusting item, yung depreciation. Pero, mag-focus muna tayo ngayon para mabigyan ko kayo ng overview dito sa apat na types of adjusting items. Now, I also explained that the reason behind is because of the accrual basis of accounting, especially yung revenue recognition principle and expense recognition principle. Now, ang emphasis natin sa ngayon sa episode na ito is bigyan ko kayo ng overview doon sa dalawang groupings na binubuo nitong apat na klase ng adjusting items na ito, which is yung deferral and yung accrual. Now, balikan lang natin yung cash basis versus the accrual basis of accounting. Kasi kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng mga adjustments is because of the timing difference. The flow of cash kasi does not always follow the happening of your transactions. Ibig sabihin, uh, minsan may mga collections or payments na nare-receive in advance. So, kung halimbawa, ikaw yung nagbebenta, nakatanggap ka muna ng pera bago ka nakapag-provide ng service or nakapag-deliver ng produkto. O minsan naman, nagbayad ka muna in advance sa mga suppliers mo and later na rin nila ipoprovide kung ano man yung hinihingi mo sa kanila. Or minsan naman, on the other way around, um, hindi ka agad nagbayad or wala ka agad na kolekta. So, merong difference, merong timing difference na tinatawag. So, kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng mga adjusting items. Now, kagaya ng sinabi ko sa la- nakaraang episode, makaklasify natin yung apat na type of adjustments into deferrals and accrual group. Umpisahan natin yung deferrals. Meron kasi tayong dalawang klase ng deferrals. And basically, pag pinag-uusapan natin yung deferrals, these are either advance collections or advance payments. So, kapag sinabi natin na advance collections, dito papasok yung tinatawag natin na mga unearned revenues or deferred revenues, unearned income, or deferred income, um, interchangeably ginagamit siya sa mga libro or ng iba-ibang mga professor, but they mean the same. Nakatanggap ka ng pera in advance with respect to your providing of service or delivering a product. So that is what we call the unearned revenue. Kung mapapansin mo sa screen natin, uh, sa taas ng unearned revenue na box, naka-identify liability. And sa kaliwa naman, naka-identify yung revenue. Tandaan niyo lang muna siya, I will have to explain it later. Now, that is what we call advanced collections. The second type of your uh, deferral is what we call yung prepayments or prepaid expenses or prepaid assets. Pinagpapalit-palit din yan sa ibang libro or ng iba-ibang mga professors but they mean the same. Ang ibig lang nitong sabihin ay advance payments. Nagbayad ka in advance. Okay? May mga kailangan ka. Nagbayad ka in advance. Yung asset na nareceive mo, yung item na nareceive mo, makukonsume mo or mayuutilize mo in more than one period. So, meron tayong advance payments. Now, these are the two types of your deferrals. By the way, pagdating sa prepayments, kung mapapansin mo naman, on top of it, on top of the box, naka-identify assets. On the left side of the box, naka-identify naman expenses. Now, let me illustrate the tagging of your prepaid expenses as an asset and expense accounts and the tagging of unearned revenues as a liability and revenue account in the following slides. Um, now, siguro maganda na i-discuss ko na sa inyo yung tinatawag natin na mix account. Okay. Pag sinabi kasi natin na mix account, maaring sa ngayon um, asset account siya, but then eventually, kapag dumaan na yung araw, dumaan na yung buwan, may mga portion doon sa asset account na na-utilize. So, nagiging mix account siya, which means to say, 
that the account is a partly an asset or partly an expense account. So, the same din, pagdating doon sa unearned revenues, maaring meron kang isang liability account, nasa ngayon ay liability, pero sa pagdaan ng panahon, may portion doon na kinikita na, kaya siya nababawasan. And it becomes a mixed account because that, uh, that account is partly a liability and partly a revenue account. Before we do the adjusting process. So, kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng mga adjusting items. Now, umpisahan muna natin doon sa prepayments. O, ito yung sinabi ko kanina, ano? Prepaid expenses, prepaid assets, ginagamit sa interchangeably. But ang ibig lang sabihin nito, advance payments. Now, the reason why we do adjusting entries is so that we can allocate yung advance payments to expense account. Kung makikita mo sa kaliwang side nito ang ating slide, an item can be 100% unused. Okay? So, let's say we purchased uh, prepaid insurance bumili tayo ng policy ng insurance policy pagkabili natin we treat it as an asset okay ang item na yon hindi pa natin ginagamit but as we go along with the number of months no na utilize natin yon every month every month nababawasan siya so nababawasan at nababawasan ito kung hindi tayo magkakaroon ng adjusting entries or hindi natin ina-adjust yung ating mga libro Pagdating doon sa dulo, kung kailan tayo kailangan gumawa ng report, mag-prepare ng financial records for purposes of reporting, eh, nasa book mo pa rin yung asset account as a 100% unused portion. Eh, since nagagamit naman ito sa paglipas ng panahon, kinakailangan natin tanggalin yung used up portion at ilipat doon sa expense account. Or remember, when we are talking of prepayments, pinag-uusapan natin asset and expense accounts. So basically, initially hindi pa ginagamit siya, pero every month meron tayong periodic allocation. At kailangan nating tanggalin yung nagamit na kasi hindi na ito asset account. Nagkaroon na tayo ng use of the benefit at i-expense na natin ito dapat. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng prepayments. Now, Pagdating naman doon sa unearned revenue, you can see also the other terms that I have used earlier. We are talking of advanced collections. And we are allocating naman yung advanced collections to income eventually. Let's say kasi meron kang nakolekta na 100,000 pesos from your customer, kung saan yung services you will have to perform on different periods. So hanggat hindi ka pa kasi nakakapag-provide ng service, or nakakapag-deliver ng goods or products, kailangan hindi mo muna i-recognize yung nakolekta mo because of the accrual basis of accounting. Again, under the revenue recognition principle, kailangan nating i-recognize yung benta mo kapag nakapag-perform ka na ng service or nakapag-provide ka na ng goods. So, until such time na hindi ka pa nagpo-provide ng uh, goods or services, unearned portion yung advance collections mo. Pero kung partly nakapag-perform ka na, yung na-perform mo na, merong value yun. Especially kung divisible naman ito, kayang uh, ma-identify kung magkano yung amount, yung earned portion na yun, kailangan natin i-transfer from the liability account papunta sa yung revenue account. Kaya, doon sa table kanina, unearned revenues are partly liability and partly revenue account. So, this is also a mixed account prior to your adjusting entries. Doon sa mga nagtatanong or nagtataka, bakit natin tinawag ito na deferral? Kasi, when we talk of deferral, we defer, we postpone yung recognition. So, during the adjusting entry, adjusting process, saka tayo nag-recognize ng pag expense or pag-recognize ng, ng revenue doon sa mga accounts na involved. Now, let's talk about accruals. Ang accrual naman na grouping ay binubuo ng accrued revenues and accrued expenses. So, dalawang klase yung accruals, ano? either a revenue account or an expense account. Okay? And syempre, pag revenue, meron naman tayong assets. Tapos, pag expense naman, meron na naman tayong liability. 
Pero wait, huwag <laughs> ka munang malilito. Kasi mamaya, pagsasama-samahin natin itong apat na ito into a table para mas ma-appreciate ninyo ito. But for now, isipin nyo muna yung accrued revenue and accrued expense. Okay? So, dalawang klase lang naman kasi ito. And when we are talking of accruals, we are recognizing an expense or an income na kinita na natin or for in terms of the expense na nagastos na natin kahit hindi pa natin nabayaran or kahit hindi pa natin nakolekta yung mga uh, amounts. O, late collections or late payments. Pag pinag-uusapan natin yung accrued revenue, ang ibig lang sabihin nito ay late collections or uncollected income. Nakapag-deliver ka na ng service or nakapag-provide ka na ng goods pero hindi mo pa ito nakokolekta sa iyong suke or sa iyong customer or sa iyong client, kailangan natin mag-recognize ng revenue because again of the accrual basis of accounting. So that is what we call accrued revenues, uncollected income. Okay? Pagdating sa accrued expenses, ito naman yung tinatawag natin ng mga late payments or unpaid expenses. Okay, may expenses ka na pero hindi mo pa siya nabayaran. Oh, this is your accrued expenses. At we have to recognize this because of the accrual basis of accounting, na which falls under doon sa expense recognition principle. Dalawa lang naman kasi yan. Either it's an expense or an income. Pagdating sa kabila, either it's an asset or liability. So, eto lang yung accrual. Again, for accruals, ang sinasabi natin dito, kailangan na natin mag-recognize ng expense or ng revenue kahit hindi pa natin ito nabayaran or nakolekta. So, that is accrual. Now, let's combine all the four types of your adjusting items. Kasi kanina, di ba, pagdating doon sa deferrals, merong asset and expense, then merong liabilities and revenue. Pagdating naman sa accruals, merong ka naman ng asset and revenue, meron ka naman ng liabilities and expense. Now, take a look at the table that I created. So, makikita mo, sa, so we have uh, basically yung pinaka-apat ano, na groupings, prepaid expenses on the top left, accrued expenses on the top right, accrued revenues on the bottom left, and then unearned revenues on the bottom right. Okay. Na pag pinag-uusapan natin, prepaid expense, ang kategory nito, ang classification nito, can either be an asset and an expense. Pagdating sa baba, yung accrued revenue can either be an asset or a revenue. Pansinin nyo lang, saan ito nagpo-fall? Yung column at saka yung row. O, pag sa accrued expense, it can either be a liability and an expense account. And pagdating doon sa unearned revenues, it can either be a liability and a revenue account. Now, para matandaan ninyo ito, kailangan natin gamitin yung diagonal lines and then your vertical and horizontal lines. Kagaya ng ipapakita ko sa mga susunod na slides. This one. O, pag diagonal na from the top left papunta ng bottom right, ito yung mga deferral accounts mo, which is your prepaid expenses and your unearned revenues. On the other side naman, Kapag nanggaling ka sa top right, papunta ng bottom left, you have your accruals. Yung accrued expenses and your accrued revenues. So, basta may pangalan na accrued, may term na accrued sa unahan, o yan yung mga accruals mo. Now, proceed tayo. Assets naman ito, yung prepaid expenses mo and your accrued revenues. O, doon sa pinakataas, di ba, yung column niya, column title niya is asset. O, siyempre, susunod, yung mga liability accounts naman. Accrued expenses and unearned revenues. So, sila yung mag, magkasama naman. Now, in terms of your expenses, kapag na-use na up na yung portion, prepaid expenses or expenses, and then you have your accrued expenses. Now, siyempre, yung panghuli, yung mga revenue items naman. Kapag nakinita mo na, pag na-earn mo na, you have your accrued revenues and then you have your unearned revenues. So, at least, ganyan natin ito mas matatandaan. Kailangan mo lang gawin yung table, then tandaan mo lang asset liabilities yung column, tapos yung mga rows naman, expenses and revenues. And then, i-plot mo lang yung mga items na yon. Tadaan, kabisado mo. <laughs> Kahit na nalilito ka, tandaan mo lang yung table and then you go over and over again para mas ma-appreciate mo kung paano natin ito ina-identify. 
Now, let me just give you a note on adjusting entries. Kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung adjusting entries, it involve one income statement account and one balance sheet account. At in and it never involves cash. So, yung practice, yung illustrations, gagawin natin ito sa mga susunod na episode. Isa-isahin natin para mas maintindihan natin ngayon. At least sa ngayon, nagkaroon tayo ng overview dito sa mga deferrals and accruals at kung ano yung mga um, subgroupings nito. So, sa susunod na episode, papakilala ko naman yung ano yung mga usual, yung mga common examples of this and with computations para mas ma-appreciate natin ito. So, that's it for today. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan, kung meron kayong mga questions or nalilito kayo, please give me a comment. So, comment down below in this video and I'll, I'll answer you after you comment on my video. So, maraming salamat and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga susunod na video uploads. And also, I'll, I'll be uploading this on a separate page, sa Facebook page naman. So, you can follow me on my Facebook page. It's also Accounting Exemplified. So, maraming salamat and thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and thank you for learning. I'll see you around. Bye-bye!